Corpus Christi. Wow. Um, I would just like to start off, I understand why it's censored, especially in the nation that we live in, uh, with the intense supremacist groups that exist that are so against homosexuality, so against the misrepresentation of Christianity, that they would literally threaten death to anyone who brought up something like this play. And I, I think, quite frankly, that's what makes this play so enjoyable for me, is I know that this play causes controversy among these groups, and... Can you stop it? Sorry, uh, where did I leave off? Corpus Christi causing controversy among these groups. Right, so... My favorite quote from Terrence McNally is that, I, I mean, I'm not exactly sure of the exact text, but he, he essentially says that he writes things to cause controversy, to invoke, uh, uh, invoke thought, invoke intriguing thought, and that's exactly what this play does. And I, and I think that's, quite frankly, what attributes to most of the banning and censoring that it's experienced. Uh, because... The people that are in control of how society works these days are powerful white Christians. And when someone like Terrence McNally comes in saying, hey, what if Jesus was gay? Then that throws everybody in that group for a loop. Nobody was prepared for Terrence Mc McNally to say anything like this. And my, my, my most enjoyable portion, like, I think the portion of this show that I enjoyed the most was the fact that there was a take on the 12, uh, 12, I hope it's 12, 12 apostles, and Jesus having sexual interactions with these apostles, I, I found it fascinating because nothing like that has ever been proposed or thought about in my households, and I have two households, my parents were separated when I was young, and and my dad's side of the family is extremely conservative, very Christian, Catholic, and and they they hammered into my brain that nothing of this sort could ever exist. Uh, they they told me what will exist, what does exist, but they never told me anything like this could exist. And I think that is what's most appealing to me because I I'd never. I'd never seen or read anything like this, and some of the things that were addressed in this play, I think, really speak true to the world we live in now. I mean, even though it came out so long ago, I mean, not terribly long ago, but it's been around longer than I've been alive, and I think that for some a play like this to be read by our generation, who is experiencing vast improvements in, in equality for all types of people, regardless of your sexuality, religion, or race. I, I think the, the, th the themes that are addressed in this show really allow readers like me, who, who are very passionate about people being treated equally, it, it really allows us to continue to turn the pages. It allows us to carry on reading and see how this play envelops and, and turns out. And I think Terrence McNally did a beautiful job doing this. Uh, Joshua, I think is the main character's name. Uh, he, he is, I mean, maybe this is a little, uh, bias, but he's my favorite character in the show because of the impact that he makes and the, the story that he goes through. And, the story that he depicts on stage, it's just entirely fascinating. And I think that going forward, we need to see more literature like this that pushes the boundaries, that makes people think, that, that causes controversy among groups. Because without things like this, art forms can't move forward and things of importance can't be addressed.